Hi, this is Jitesh from Panchal Driving Academy. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the show me, tell me questions. So they will ask you one question at the beginning of the test. Um, so that could be anything in the car or opening the bonnet outside as well. And then they will ask you a question whilst you're driving. So uh, a show me question whilst you're on the move. Now, it's important that you show them when it's safe to show them. And if you if you genuinely don't know what it is, you can say you don't know. Um, they may show you um, how to do it and then they may ask you again. Obviously, if you get it wrong again, you could possibly uh, get a driver fault for that as well. Uh, what's really important though is just make sure that you show them when it's safe to show uh, when you show. So make sure when you're driving, you know, if there's any hazards ahead of you, then you should wait uh, until you deal with the hazards first. So we'll start off with the questions um, inside the car first. Tell me how you would check that the brakes are working before starting the journey. So for this question, all you need to explain is that you press the brake pedal and it shouldn't feel slack or spongy. Uh, you should test the brakes before you set off and you should also make sure that the vehicle doesn't pull to uh, one side. Tell me where you would find the information for the recommended tyre pressure for this car and how the tyre pressure should be checked. So the information for the recommended tire pressure uh, is usually in the manufacturer's uh, guide. Uh, sometimes it is on the side of the door as well. So, so when you open the door, there could be some information on the side as well. Uh, but normally you should find that in the manufacturer's guide. Now to check the tire pressure, you must use a reliable pressure gauge, uh, which you can find at most petrol stations. And remember to check the tires when they're cold. And also don't forget to check the spare tire. Tell me or show me how you adjust your head restraint to provide maximum support in event of a crash. So this is quite simply done by pulling the uh, head restraint itself um, out uh, in the Persia 208. You can just pull it out. And then if you want to adjust it back down again, there's a button on the left which you press and you can just bring it back down. So the correct level should be in line with the top of your ears and your eyes. Uh, remember that not all cars have adjustable head restraints. So tell me how you would check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. So basically the minimum tread depth is 1.6 millimetres so, and it has to be in the central three quarter breadth of the tyre. Uh, also make sure there's no cuts or bulges on the side of the tyre as well. Tell me how you would check that the headlights and the tail lights are working you don't need to exit the vehicle. So this is quite simply done by switching on the headlights. So um, so on here, uh, it's normally set on the auto setting in my car, but if you just turn it away from me fully, uh, you will see the green symbol appear there. And that's your headlights and tail lights. So your headlights refer to the front lights and the tail lights refer to the rear lights. It is a tell me question, so you just need to, you don't need to exit the vehicle to, uh, to check. Tell me how you would uh, check if there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system. So this is quite a, a straightforward one. So all you do is uh, turn the ignition and you'll see a warning light appear there. You can see it says ABS. Now if that ABS light stays on, then that would indicate that there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Really, really important that if that does stay on, you know, you, you would get it checked immediately um, as soon as possible. Tell me how you check the direction indicators are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. So there's two ways to show this really. An easy way to do it is just to press the um, hazard button and all the indicator lights will light up and you can see that uh, it's ticking and it's flashing inside as well. Uh, you can then walk outside and check all the indicator lights are working. Alternatively, you can actually use the actual indicator stalk itself. So switching it up right one and switching it down uh, to do the left one. Uh, like I said, this is a question that uh, you don't need to exit the vehicle. Uh, you just need to tell them how to do it. Tell me how you would check the brake lights are working on this car. So for this question, it's a tell me question again. So you just need to explain to them that you press the foot brake, uh, then you can ask somebody to stand outside and check that the lights are working. Now, if there is 
uh, if you're on your own then you can make use of uh, reflections in windows or doors. Tell me how you would check that your power steering is working before the start of a journey. So this is quite a, there's a simple way of checking this. So normally when you pull the steering wheel, it feels heavy uh, because the power steering is only activated when the car is actually running. So as you can see, I'm pulling it and, it, and I can't, it's, there's a lot of resistance. So uh, easy way to check it is um, when I switch the engine on, the ignition on, and now if I turn the steering wheel, it feels light. So you'll notice a slight but noticeable movement when you switch the ignition on. Um, also, you can always just test this out just before you start your journey, uh, just by turning the steering wheel and it shouldn't feel heavy. Tell me how you would switch on your rear fog lights and explain to me when you would use them. Again, this is a tell me question. So all you do is in this car, you have to switch on your dipped headlights first. Um, as you can see, the dipped headlights are on there. And then uh, in this particular vehicle, uh, there is like a ring and you just twist it away from you twice. And there's an amber orange symbol there that appears there. So that's your symbol for your rear fog lights. Now you would only use your rear fog lights when visibility is less than 100 meters. To switch all this off again, you just put it back to total or back to zero. So the remaining questions asked at the test center will require you to open the bonnet. Now to open the bonnet in the Peugeot 208, you need to open the front passenger door and there is a latch. So all you do is you just pull that towards you like so. And then you need to go to the front of the car to open the actual bonnet itself. Now the latch is actually located just where the line is, just to the left of it. So if I put my finger in there, I can lift it up and there you go, there's the bonnet. So now I've secured the bonnet. Uh, let's have a look inside the, yeah, inside the bonnet. So here you have the coolant. So as you can see, it's got a temperature symbol there. So uh, you top it up with two coolant and it has to be between minimum and maximum. Here we have the washer fluid and you just top that up to the neck. And here you have the actual engine itself and that's where you put the oil in and this is a dipstick here, it's simple there. So all you do is you pull the dipstick out and then you wipe it dry and you need to make sure that the oil is between the minimum and maximum. Now uh, just bear in mind that you don't need to actually do any of this, you just have to just tell them what, how you do it. So you put the dipstick back in and then pull it back out and check it's between minimum and maximum. And here we have the brake fluid. And with the brake fluid, you top it up with brake fluid. And again, there is a minimum and maximum uh, indicator there as well. So there you go, there's the bonnet questions. I will actually post uh, a picture here as well with, with the labels on it as well, so you can see what's what. To put the bonnet back down again, you need to take this out from here. Uh, obviously, I'm on, I'm on here at the moment, so I can't do this. But you just take that out and then you just uh, attach it to this fixing here. And then you just drop the bonnet down. So here, so here you can see I've uh, secured the bonnet stay rod in the clip here now. And to close the bonnet, all you do is bring the bonnet down just about say about a foot from the top and just just drop it and then just make sure it is actually secure and that's the bonnet questions so we've been through all the tell me questions and the bonnet questions which they will ask you at the test at the beginning of the test so this is before you actually drive out the test center uh, the other questions that they will ask you yeah, the show me questions will be uh, on the move so i'm just going to emphasize this again how important this is so if you genuinely don't know what it is you can actually say you don't know uh, don't try to guess uh, it is possible to fail on these questions especially if you start pressing buttons that you don't know what, what what they do and also more importantly that you may lose control of the vehicle as well so it's really really important that you show them when it's safe to show them 
And like I said, if you genuinely don't know what it is, you can actually say that. So I'm going to go through all those questions now. Obviously, I'm not going to be driving uh, whilst I show you them. So um, the car is actually stationary. So I'm going to show you these questions uh, that they can ask you whilst you are driving. Okay, when it's safe to show me, show me how you operate your front windscreen washer and wipers. So your front windscreen washer and wipers are located on the right hand stalk. And all you do is you just pull the right hand stalk towards you and that activates the front windscreen washer and wipers. They will switch off by themselves so you don't need to press anything to switch them off again. Show me how you operate your rear windscreen washer and wipers. Now this is on the right hand stalk again here um, and this time to do the right uh, to do the rear windscreen washer and wipers all you do is you twist the end of the stalk away from you and that will activate the uh, rear windscreen washer and wipers so just to show you from the back here there you go it's activated again this will switch off by itself if it doesn't remember just to put switch this back down back onto zero when it's safe to do so show me how you would switch on your dipped headlights so again uh, this all the light questions are on the left hand stalk here so this is likely to be on auto or on the zero setting so all you do is to switch on your dipped headlights you just turn it away from you and that's your dipped headlights and as you can see the dipped headlights uh, symbol has actually come on the uh, dashboard display there as well again show you when it's safe to do so and remember to switch it off as well when it's safe to do so show me how you switch on your rear demister so the rear demister is <coughs> at the front here and it's this button here so you just press it it does uh, light up there so that's your rear demister so just for your own benefit that is actually uh, the heating elements in the back rear windscreen as you can see there so when you press that button um, they heat up and then obviously that if there's any condensation or ice or anything it, it, it melts so there's the rear demister so all you do is you just switch it back off again again show when it's safe to do so when it's safe to do so show me how you demist the front windscreen so again, this is at the front. So the front demister setting is on this down here. So you turn it clockwise to that setting there. So that's the front demister. Now as part of that, all what you also need to do is you need to increase the airflow um, and also put the heating on as well. And that will activate the front uh, demister there. Now with this question, just want to mention something. Um, for your test, I'm more than likely going to leave it on the front demister setting. So all you can just have to do is just switch that fan on. Uh, remember uh, to switch switch it back off again. I advise you just to leave it on one or two uh, so that there's still some airflow uh, coming into the car. So there you go. There's your front demister. When it's safe to do so, show me how you operate uh, open and close your side window. So your window controls are on your door panel, um, front door panel here. So all you do is you just push this button down, which says A on it. Uh, if you just push it down hard, the window will open. And to close again, if you just pull it towards you, and that will close the window. Again, remember, show this when it's safe to do so. When it's safe to show me, show me how you operate the horn. So this is quite simply done by pressing uh, the center part of the steering wheel. So there you go. That's all the show me, tell me questions done. Uh, so we will go through them as part of your driving lesson and um, we'll definitely obviously go through them before you test as well. Is it, it is important that you do study these uh, questions because uh, you can get a driver fault if you get the question wrong. So it could mean a difference between a pass and a fail as well. So it is important that you do study them. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me.